Theft Auto is amoral, grotesque, appalling. What else can we say about a game that has given joy to so many people? We can say that it's bringing that joy to others. Others who own a PC. Theft Auto Vice City rocked PlayStation owners' world last fall. Now, PC owners get the chance to wreak unimaginable havoc in retro 80s style. For the three people watching who don't know what Grand Theft Auto is, you play a criminal. A heavily armed criminal with sociopathic tendencies and a healthy disrespect for the law. The disrespect tends to manifest itself in the form of high explosives. The visuals and the brilliant soundtrack evoke the neon lit party everyone likes to pretend the 80s were. You can almost smell the Dracar Noir. Oh, wait, that's me. A top shelf cast of actors lend their voices to the characters in the game. As the cheesy but interesting story unfolds, you'll encounter the likes of Burt Reynolds. I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Philip Michael Thomas. Chill. I want what you want, brother. And the incomparable Dennis Hopper as Vice City's porn king. And the giant shark comes in and just bites their <laughs> off. Okay, so here's the question. Is it better than the PlayStation version? Yes. Is that part of the, uh, <sighs> was she talking to? Hey, I can never <laughs> tell anyway. Tempted by the fruit of another. The first thing you'll notice about the PC Vice City is that, yes, it looks a hell of a lot better than its console counterpart. Look how much further down the road you can see. And shoot! Ha! That was what, like 200 yards? How you like me now? This drives home why it's a shame the GTA series is stuck on the PlayStation 2. These games could look so much better than they do. Yeah, that's what I said, fanboys. Bite me. You no longer have to desperately fumble with an awkward lock-on targeting system. Thanks to mouse aiming, I am now Death Incarnate. And in my less masculine moments, I ride the Vespa of Death. You might want to pick up a controller for the vehicles, though. Trying to fly the helicopters with the keyboard is a bit like playing musical chairs with angry ferrets. Sooner or later, you'll get bitten on the ass. Case in point. Vice City on the PC is a better experience all around. I can sit back and enjoy the music, carnage, and general chaos. If you're new to the GTA phenomenon, don't hesitate to grab this one. X-Play gives Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the PC a 5 out of 5. Oh.